Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be another lower body session. Uh, this is one that we do at the club in order to improve our speed, power and vertical leap. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. It's a Saturday night here in Japan. I'm just about to get a late night workout in. Uh, Saturday and Sunday are my off days for this week and I haven't done a whole lot today. Mainly it's been a recovery day and yeah, so I'm about to do some work now but at the time you guys are watching this video, it's probably been, it's been a week and a bit since I uploaded my first video on YouTube. Uh, currently we're training in small groups as a team so things aren't still back to 100% but uh, they're slowly getting there. In the near future I'm sure things will start to be back to how they were before the whole worldwide coronavirus situation. So for the time being, we're still not allowed to use the gym facilities at the club, uh, just because they don't want us interacting in large groups so close together. So yeah, they're just doing risk management still, but hopefully in the near future, I'll be able to start using the gym again and be able to film some stuff in there for you guys. But yeah, like I said, today's workout's gonna be a lower body session with a main focus on power, speed, and vertical leap. So this is something we do during the season, in the off season as well. Uh, the reps and the sets depend and vary on the day of the week and the time of the year. But uh, all in all, this is something that we do all throughout the year that helps us get faster, stronger, and be able to jump higher. So yeah, this is something we do at the club. And I figured you guys would get a lot of value out of this. So yeah, I'll be sharing this workout with you guys today. Uh, the majority of you guys who haven't been in a gym before or potentially haven't done these types of Olympic lifting movements before, uh, just be careful. You need to make sure you're doing these with the right technique. Uh, and if you guys are still young, a bit younger, 14, 15, 16, there's no rush to start doing this. This can be a reference video for you in the future uh, once you start going into the gym a bit more. But yeah, let's get started. It is important that you guys are nice and warm before starting this. Uh, what you will need to do this is a barbell and the weights depending on how much you want to be lifting. I've only got 30 kilos here, but that's plenty for what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, the focus is on the quality of the movement rather than the quantity that you're lifting or the quantity of reps. Now, one thing to note is that it is important to follow this workout in order as each movement is a progression from its previous one. And we'll be working up towards the big movements at the end of the workout. So yeah, make sure you guys follow this workout step by step. Uh, you can skip a few, but you don't really want to be doing this backwards or just mixing up the order too much. I'm going to get started on the session now. Uh, I'll be doing a voiceover during the video explaining anything you guys need to know for each movement. So I'll see you guys when the video is done. First exercise is a front squat. So for each video there's going to be a front view and a side view so you guys can see both positions. A key point with this is to make sure your knees don't go past your toes for all exercises or the majority of them. So. Here you're just going to rack the barbell in front of your body, it's hanging on your fingers so you're not gripping onto it, and just squatting down as far as you can and coming back up, staying nice and balanced. Next up we have an overhead squat, which is a pretty complex movement, especially for any of you guys who haven't done this type of lifting before. You're going to grip the barbell nice and wide, fully extend your arms, keeping your body weight evenly distributed and yeah, squatting down, making sure your knees don't go too far forwards. You've got to control that as much as you can, targeting the glutes and you'll feel this in your shoulders as well. Next up is a sumo squat. So here you're gonna grip the barbell nice and narrow, leaving a little bit of a gap in the middle. Uh, make sure your toes are pointed outwards and you take a nice and wide stance. So you're just gonna be squatting all the way down and coming back up. And this one targets more of your groins as well as your glutes.
Next up is a sumo squat into a high pull. So exact same exercise as last time, but as you're coming up, you're gonna use that momentum to lift the bar. Key points here are when you're lifting the bar, make sure your elbows stay nice and high and don't drop below the bar. This is gonna work a bit more of your back as well as your groins and glutes. Next up we have a Bulgarian split squat. So here you're gonna need a chair or a bench or pretty much anything that's gonna allow you to elevate your leg. So yeah, just get into a lunge position with your back foot elevated and you're gonna be squatting down, coming back up, making sure you're keeping most of your body weight on your front foot and this is really gonna work that front leg. For reps and sets of these exercises, I'm doing 10 reps, two sets each for these exercises we're seeing at the start. Uh, there are a few exercises where you need to be doing specific sets and reps. However, for most of you guys starting, I'd recommend doing five reps each for two sets on these starting exercises. Really focus on that power and yeah, probably get nice and heavy once you correct the technique. Get some weight on there and do five reps for two sets. For everyone who's starting this type of training for the first time, the most important thing is to nail the technique first. So even if you're doing it with no weight or even just the bar, even a plastic bar, it's crucial to nail the technique before adding any weight. Next up, we've got an RDL, which is a Romanian deadlift so here grab the bar shoulder width apart you're going to hinge down like a deadlift but you're going to stop when the bar just gets past your knees pause for two to three seconds before driving back up really using those glutes this one's really good for targeting those hammies all these exercises are improving vertical leap speed strength all that type of stuff but they're also going to be preventing future injuries as footballers, you're constantly exposed to doing high intensity movements and this type of training prepares your body to kind of handle those loads. Next up is an RDL triple extension. So this is the exact same movement as the last exercise. However, when you guys come up, you're going to be triple extended. So lifting your heels off the floor, including a calf raiser in the movement as well. Next up is just a shoulder press, so pretty straightforward. Grabbing the bar at shoulder width apart, you're gonna be just pressing upwards. However, you're gonna be using your lower body to gain some momentum. So hinge a little bit at the hips, bringing your glutes back without kinda bringing your knees forwards too much, driving up and fully extending the arms. Next up is exercise nine. Doesn't have a name because I'm not 100% sure of what it is. It's similar to the last exercise and it's preparing us for future movements in this session. You're going to be hinging at the hips, pressing up, but on the way down, absorbing all the weight through your lower body in a minor squat position. Next up, we have a regular squat. So all these exercises, you want to focus on the speed and quality of the movement. So here, just getting into a regular squat position, squatting all the way down, trying to improve that range of motion as well. The further you can go down, the better. And yeah, just driving up as fast as you can whilst keeping your feet on the floor. If your momentum takes your heels off the floor, that's fine as long as you're not jumping. Now next up, we're doing the same thing, but this time involving a jump. So. Squatting all the way down on your way back up, really focus on that speed and this time we're going to be jumping off the floor and landing. The focus here is once you squat down, pushing up, really driving your legs as fast as possible. Last exercise is a snatch. This is a very complex movement and requires very good technique. 
Grabbing the bar just a little bit wider than shoulder width, you're going to be performing a deadlift. As you come up, you're going to bring the bar with you above head height. And as you do this, you want to make sure that the bar stays nice and close to your body. As you come up, you're then going to hinge back down again, catching all that weight in a minor squat position. This is a difficult movement, but a very good one. And that's a wrap for tonight. I'm sure you guys can see it's dark outside, so that's my night workout done. And yeah, like I said, some of these movements are pretty advanced, so make sure that you guys are doing them with the correct technique and form, because uh, yeah, if you do them with poor form, they can lead to back pain, and yeah, you can hurt yourself. So just make sure you're careful. Uh, if you guys haven't really used the gym much, then I wouldn't recommend getting started doing these exercises. This is more for people who have been in the gym, know what they're doing, and are looking for specific exercises that are going to increase power, speed, and vertical leap. Give it a go, let me know what you guys think down below. It's always good to get your guys' feedback, whether it's positive or negative. I do appreciate it. So for all you guys that were wondering what professional footballers do in the gym to train speed and power, as well as vertical leap, you've just seen it. This is one of the things that we do during the season and in the off season. So now you guys can train like a pro as well. That's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, thanks as always for tuning in. Really appreciate your ongoing support on the channel. Stay safe, sending best wishes to all your families, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.